All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hacking the Headlines. So we are going to talk about Kanye West again real quick. I've already done several videos on this subject and hopefully this is going to be my last one for a while because I'm kind of sick of talking about it. But I came across this article and I thought it was really important to share with everybody because it makes it more than obvious what is going on here. It says the Church of Satan is pleased that Kanye West has released Jesus is King. Satan is the best friend Kanye has ever had, says the Church of Satan. Now you might be saying, well, why is the Church of Satan praising Kanye West for his new album? And of course, it's because this is exactly what they want. They are very pleased and happy that Kanye has put this album out because it is helping to spread a false and heretical gospel, a watered down, lukewarm version of what Jesus actually taught. And that's exactly what they want because they need to prepare people, especially so-called believers, into accepting the Antichrist. And that is the role that Kanye is fulfilling, whether he is aware of it or not. Um, so let's get into what this article has to say, but I also wanted to address a couple of different common arguments I've been getting to support this supposed conversion into Christianity from Kanye, and I'm going to dispel those arguments with some basic logic and scripture. Uh, but first, let's see what what this article has to say. It says Kanye West released his new gospel album, Jesus is King on Friday, finally putting long suffering fans out of their misery after weeks of delays, Sunday service concerts, leaked songs, and various other antics. The record is, as one would expect, about West's relationship with God, serving as a kind of atonement for past sins and promise of faithful servitude. Uh, well, I listened to the album and no, that's not what it was at all. But anyway, it says God hasn't yet responded to this album length request for Kanye. Comment, so there's some mockery for you there, but it says, but, but you know who has Satan, Satan has responded late last week. The church of Satan tweeted about the record. Satan is the best friend Kanye has ever had. They wrote as he will keep him in business all these years. It says the tweet is a reference to the church of Satan founder, Anton LaVey, who believed that the fear of Satan and eternal damnation is what keeps people going back to church. Satan has been the best friend the church has ever had as he kept it in business after all these years, LaVey wrote in the Satanic Verses. Later last Friday, the church responded to a fan who tweeted that Satan is pissed about Kanye's new album. But then the church of Satan responded with, we're more pleased than anything. Only those who read our literature will get it. It says, read the church of Satan's tweets about Kanye below. Now here it says, Kanye West, Jesus is King debuts at number one. Huh, interesting. Yes, it is the number one album. So we'll go over why that is here in just a second. And that is more proof that this is a false gospel that he is spreading. And that is why the Church of Satan is being so supportive of this. And that's why they're saying that only those who read their literature will get it. Well, no, guess what, the Church of Satan, the people who are born again and who truly have the Holy Spirit and rely on the Word of God as their final authority and people who don't chase after the things of this world and these false idols, we get it too. And we know what's going on here. We see this for what it is. And we are not tossed back and forth with every wind of doctrine. And now Anton LaVey said that it is Satan who keeps the churches in business. And he is a thousand percent right about that. Because guess what? The vast majority of churches in America today, they are also preaching a lukewarm, watered down version of the gospel. This hippy dippy, nice guy, lovey dovey version of Jesus that doesn't exist. And now, of course, I'm not saying that Jesus isn't loving because of course he is, but he's also a lot of other things as well. He's also a righteous judge of the wicked and he is going to come and destroy with his wrath everyone who rejected him and everyone who teaches these false heretical doctrines like Kanye is doing. Uh, this universalism that we see 
everywhere right now. And that's why Joel Osteen, for instance, is inviting Kanye into his church because of course he is. And you know, Joel Osteen is one of the biggest wolves out there. He also preaches a very lukewarm, watered down, new age version of the gospel. And I covered in my other video about Kanye, how he was on stage talking about, hey, we don't need to worry about all the things the Catholics teach. Don't tell me about the Mormons and their extra books. We all need to come together as one you know, we got to make this inclusive for everybody. That's not what Jesus taught. It is very important that we call out these false teachings because they are sending people directly to hell. And Jesus said himself that he did not come to bring peace and unity on earth. He's coming with a sword and he has come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's enemies will be of his own household. So this idea that we all just have to come together and make it easy for, for everybody to be accepted. No, that's not what Jesus taught. And people will try to say that, oh, Kanye, he's a new convert. He's a new believer, cut him some slack, but he's really not that new. I mean, first of all, he's been talking about Jesus ever since he started his career, but this whole born again thing that he's been doing in the Sunday services, they've been going on for a year now. Uh, so he's really not that new to the faith so-called. And if he really was a new believer, then what is he doing on stage preaching to millions of people? I mean, this message is reaching millions of people. And that's something we should all be taking really seriously. And now again, his album is number one. What does that tell you? It's, it's number one across the board right now. That tells you he is being loved, adored, and promoted by the world. And is that what the Bible says is going to happen when we go out and preach the gospel? No, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that we will be hated and persecuted by this world. Here in Matthew 10, 22, it says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, and he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So what this doesn't say is that you will be loved and adored, and you're going to be promoted all, all across the mainstream media, you're going to have a number one album and millions of people are going to follow you. That's not what this verse says. It says the exact opposite of that. And now another common argument I get from people is what about Paul or Saul? He was killing believers. He was killing the church. He was persecuting Christians. He was throwing them into jail and God saved him. And absolutely God did save him. But first of all, it's a ridiculous comparison to make between Kanye and Paul for one. But if you want to make that comparison, let's make that comparison. Now, if Paul would have continued to kill Christians after he was saved and he was going around preaching the gospel during the day and then going back and killing every believer at nighttime, I would really hope that no one would listen to him because he would obviously be a false teacher, a false prophet, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. And just like Kanye, if we're going to make that comparison, well, he's still going out and making millions of dollars off his satanic filth that he pushed out for a decade. Oh, but he's just a new believer, right? So it's okay that he's still pushing satanism and filthy, sinful, lifestyles onto his followers. That's perfectly acceptable. I mean, come on. It's just such a ridiculous argument. It's a straw man argument because I'm certainly not claiming that God cannot and does not save wicked people. He absolutely does all the time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's going on with Kanye here. Just because he can and he does save the wicked doesn't mean that Kanye is saved by default. Okay, so that is a straw man argument. It is a logical fallacy and it doesn't make any sense. And now if Kanye were to have truly been saved and is truly a born again Christian who's going out and preaching the gospel, do you know how we would know? We would know because we would never hear from him again. He would never be promoted ever again. He would never have another album in the mainstream media and he would fade off into the cold dark night by himself. I mean, he might make, you know, whatever YouTube videos by himself, but he would never be promoted ever again. He would be like the rest of us who are preaching the gospel, the true teachings of Jesus. He would be shadow banned. He would be rejected by the world. He would be hated by the world and he would never ever be promoted by mainstream media ever again.
that's how we would know if he was truly saved because that's what the Bible tells us would happen. And this is exactly why we are called to test the spirits, to test what we hear against the word of God. And if it doesn't line up, then we are called to reject it. But you know, this is the problem with so-called believers these days. They want to follow the things of this world. They still love these false idols. They still want to get the latest album and be, be in on the latest trends, but we are called to be set apart, plain and simple. And if you are still chasing after the things of this world, then the love of the Father is not in you. This is what the Bible says. But you're not going to hear that at your local church house because they are preaching feel good doctrine, these false gospels, a false Jesus. They take out all the verses that they can't explain that doesn't sound good to them, and they pretend like they don't exist. And then what they are left with is the Antichrist, because this is the message of the Antichrist. The Antichrist is going to come and say that everybody's welcome. Hey, if you want to call me Jesus, that's fine. Or if the Muslims want to call me Allah, or if uh, the Jews want to claim I'm the Messiah, hey, it's all good. We can all have our own truth. Everybody's welcome. Uh, just as long as you don't claim there's only one way to the Father, and if you don't take that narrow path, then you go straight to hell. This is what the Bible teaches. This is what Jesus taught. Jesus taught more about hell than anybody else in the Bible, but this is not what we are hearing from Kanye West. It's the same old universalism, new age, churchianity that is so popular these days that is being spread across every mainstream media outlet because this is what they want people believing. So just because someone claims to believe in Jesus doesn't make it true. Just like all these church houses, you know, on Sunday morning, like clockwork, they're talking about Jesus. But is it the real Jesus? Are they preaching the true gospel? No, they're not. It's a lukewarm, watered down version. And because people are following after the things of this world, they could care less. They just want their favorite rapper to become a so-called believer and they're happy with that. As long as it's getting pushed out in the mainstream, then they're going to believe it. So this is the type of mentality we're dealing with. But I just wanted to share that article with you about the Church of Satan praising Kanye for his new album because of course they are. It's exactly what they want. The Church of Satan knows exactly what's going on. And the sad thing is the body of Christ for the most part seems to be totally missing the point here but i know a lot of you guys get it and you're probably sick of hearing about it as well uh, you guys have great discernment people who follow my channel you know you're in your bible you have the holy spirit you know what's going on but i thought it was still important to share that with everybody just in case i know there is a lot of people out there who are just still not seeing this deception for what it is and unfortunately kanye west is leading millions of people into hell with this false watered down version of the gospel. Uh, so there it is, guys. I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comment section below, and I'll have another video out for you very soon. But until next time, take care out there and God bless everyone.